All right, welcome back to the warehouse. Um, today, we're gonna go over replacing the controller. In the, it's the same for this, this is a 650, but same process for a 900. First off, parts you need. Um, I've got dikes, there's a couple of zip ties I'll need to cut. Um, I've got a four millimeter and a three millimeter Allen key, and then a flathead screwdriver. Step one, the controller on this bike is sitting right here underneath the battery, so First, I just need to pull off the battery and set that aside. And then I'll grab my three and my four millimeter Allen keys. And sometimes it, it varies by bike. Some of these are Phillips screws. Some of them are Allen keys or Allen wrenches, so. Yeah, exactly. So I just wanna make sure I'll take off all, there's three of these that I need to unscrew. So there's these top two and then one more no, here. Real quick, see how that slid down? When you put this back together, make sure that that is up all the way. Otherwise, you're gonna have issues getting your battery to slide in and go down. Just a little note for later on. Yeah. So it b battery won't go on, right? If that slid down. Nope. Um, okay. And then the last screw is right in here. Um, this is a four millimeter for this bike. Okay, so um, we've taken the bolts out and we are ready to remove our controller. And so um, best way we found to do that is to start pulling cables down the bike. So I, I went ahead already and I pulled this out. Um, so that's, I've um, pulled this one out so it's got slack and down. And then what I can also do is reach down here and, and grab at the, um, this is the motor cable and I'll push that down as I, or pull it down as I kind of push this and I want uh, so I can get that. Now what you're doing is just getting the cables out of the way so you can pull that down and get an angle on that exactly. controller. So now that I've got it far enough, I can slide that top bit of it out and kind of wedge it out. And there we go, I've got access to all my, um, things and so looks like my battery thing came unplugged <laughs> when I was pulling it. So a little too hard. I've got this is your wiring harness. It goes up to the top of the bike this way. Um, so you can plug that out, plug in the new one. Um, this right here is a pedal sensor. Um, so just a, that's just a squeeze and pull to take that off. Then I've got these ones go to the battery. Um, Jeff says these are bullet connections, bullet right? Bullet connectors, yep. Bullet slide connectors. right in. So those will just slide in. And then the last one is this long cable, and the connection for that is over on this side. It's the motor cable. Um, so you can just kind of come out here. It's right by the chain and pedal back here. Um, and you'll just have to, you'll use the dikes to cut this a couple zip, tie zip ties and that yeah. zip tie. Um, you can pull that out um, and then you're ready. So um, once you have the new um, controller all installed, then you're ready to put it back in the bike. Um, and again, easiest way to go is to push the wires down. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start pushing these in and down. And, and you can also grab the wire underneath here and help pull that down. That'll help, help pull it in. Yeah. And when you get it in, make sure that it's on the side. If you, um, the wire, the um, wiring harness wire runs, make sure it's on one of the sides of that. Um, and now what I want to do is push this um, back up. You can use a flathead at this point, just kind of while you're doing that, Wyatt, I'm just gonna show them real quick. So the three screws that we pulled off, and your your bike may be different. There's there's a couple different models out there, I mean versions of this. Um, these are the three bolts that came out of there, and you'll notice this one's a flathead, so that's on the bottom. Um, and then these other two, you got a longer one and a shorter one, and they, those, what those do is, that longer one, well, Wyatt will explain it in a second, but go ahead. Yeah, so the longer one, it, if you noticed before, there's a dent on this controller that, that we pulled out of this bike. So that is from the longer screw pushing down onto the controller and holding it in place. 
Um, and if you have an older bike and, and you pull this apart, when you pull yours apart, your controller very well may have been sitting down here. No, there's, it's not a big deal if it was. It's, you know, it's all good. Yeah, and some of the older bikes, they've got different um, screws and stuff, so it won't, won't yeah, be the same. Yeah, they'll have flathead screws up here, but these roundhead ones make it easier for the battery to slide on. With those flatheads, you gotta make sure that uh, that they're in all the way or else you have a hard time getting that battery to seat on that um, connection plate. So I'm good to go ahead and start screwing this in. And um, because it likes to fall down, well, let's see. Uh, the, the one I'm gonna do first is the four millimeter just cause it's easiest of the one in the hole in the bottom here. And I have to use a tool because my fingers don't fit down there. Um, but on this one, just be careful not to cross thread it. And if I do this one first, then it helps line up where the other holes should be. So, okay. And then, ready for the next ones. I'm going to go ahead and get the long one started first. And you got to remember to slide this metal plate all the way up so that the battery will slide on. So I can feel right about here, it's starting to run into that controller. So I'm just gonna leave it there for a sec and start this top one. Kind of get that started tight. I'm gonna come back to this one. And it's kinda, it's kinda tight at first and then it, it tends to kinda like loosen up almost a little bit as it starts to kinda press that controller into the bottom there, but I just want to make sure that it's flush against the bottom of this panel here so that it... Yeah, what you're looking for with this is, is if, these, if these heads are sticking up at all from this side, what you're going to find is that battery, because that battery's got that flat bottom that sits on there, and if those are sticking up, you won't be able to seat the battery all the way onto the, the mounting bracket, so... And, and you want to make sure that it's decently tight too, because it's holding all the way to your battery on those. So got that on, ready to put the battery back on and test out our new swap. So go ahead and slide that on, make sure it's clicked in and fired up. Okay, and one thing you want to do to real quick to test it, the new controller is uh, I'll, I'll back up so you can see it, but go ahead and lean it on the kickstand way. And because the computer will fire on, um, like if the controller is fried, sometimes the computer will still turn on, but you just won't get any uh, rotation on the back wheel. So lean it up on the kickstand a bit, give it a throttle, a little bit of throttle in one, and just make sure that you're uh, that it's working. It should be good. So awesome. There you go. And there's your controller swap.